how we can do in the window, how many, how much quality we can add to the team and see how, how far we can push this title challenge against Man City. Uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I find it very distasteful, uh, annoying when Arsenal fans are here uh, kicking a force about Jesus. Uh, goal scoring drought. I get it. Is it concerning? Sure, sure, it should be concerning. Is our number nine? It was supposed to be our goal scorer that we put for Man City, but we know that coming from Man City, he has not been the most prolific, he's not most most little striker, but he does other things. He's a fantastic footballer, in my opinion. Uh, the dribbling, the creating of chances, the pressing from the front, the hiring of uh, different it does all parts of the game aside from. Being prolific at goal, and I think that can come with age sometimes. So, we... hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Arsenal present is the name of the name, brand new name of the channel. So, no more soccer with three or four. So, we're just rebranding and changing a few things. But the content will remain quality. I will continue to try to upgrade on the content and the production and the quality. So. Make sure you stick a like on the video, uh, subscribe, you like the content, and don't forget to turn the action bell. I'm still basking and enjoying the fact that five points ahead of the summit leading Manchester City, there's a five point gap that gives us a nice cushion. And I'm enjoying the fact that Arsenal are uh, actually doing something great. The fans can go into Christmas and celebrate the fact that we are some of the summit. Yes, it's 14 games, there's a break for the World Cup. So let's just enjoy it and see what uh, we can do in the window, how, many, how much quality we can add to the team and see how, how far we can push this title challenge against Man City. Uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I find it very distasteful, uh, annoying when Arsenal fans are here uh, kicking a force about Jesus' uh, goal scoring drought. I get it. Is it concerning? Sure, sure it should be concerning. Is our number nine. It was supposed to be our goal scorer that we put for Man City. But we know that coming from Man City, he has not been the most prolific. He's not most most little striker. But he does other things. He's a fantastic footballer, in my opinion. Uh, the dribbling, the creating of chances, the pressing from the front, the hiring of uh, different... He does all parts of the game, aside from being prolific at goal. And I think that can come with age sometimes. So people are late bloomers. He's still 25. Give him some time. Give him some time. I understand rival fans don't need to give some time. They can banter us, which is fair. But if Arsenal fans are going to keep on this narrative, oh, we are overly concerned. Unless you don't be concerned. Don't get overly concerned about his goal scoring. When he's doing every other thing, he makes our team better. I know the goal scoring stats are not the best. Five goals with the, um, I mean, five or six assists is not the best out of, out of 14 games. I get it. But what he contributes towards the team, come on, most of, you can't quantify it. Without Jesus, we are not winning certain games. Without Jesus, uh, pre assist to, to, for the assist Vera gave to the guy yesterday, that goal might not come to existence. So let us stop this nonsense. Stop creating unhealthy narratives. Like, it's team goal before personal goal or glory. If Jesus was scoring 19, maybe Jesus hypothetically scores 19, 20, 30 goals and we're not in the top four or we don't win the league or we don't win any trophy, those are useless goals in my opinion. I said it in a video a few months ago about Ronaldo's uh, dilemma at Manchester United where I said Ronaldo scored 18 useless goals. If you score this amount of goals and you don't make it in top four, you don't win any trophy, those are useless goals. Let's call it what it is. Those are useless goals. We've had players like Van Persie and Sanchez leave us, even though they were hitting their personal objectives of goals, because they know, regardless of the goals, if they're not winning trophies or they're not competing actively, those goals don't mean nothing. Look at Harry Kane for sports. He's scoring goals. He has won the Golden Boot a few times. He's scoring goals for sports, but sports are not winning nothing. So let's stop it. Stop it. Get your priorities right. Don't be dysfunctional to the fan group. I get it. All Arsenal fans, including myself, want Jesus to score more goals for bragging rights. But I prefer Arsenal winning the league and spreading goals around than Jesus scoring 20 plus goals and we don't win anything substantial. Let me know. Do you prefer Jesus scoring a, a load, a bunch of goals and Arsenal don't win anything or don't qualify for the Champions League? Let me know because sometimes I don't understand what goes on in some of these online fans' heads. Don't get, don't get me wrong. I will prefer Jesus to score a ton of goals. I will love it. It will help us get to our objective easier. 
that will have the bragging rights during the banter of opposition fans. But if he scores these goals and we don't win the Champions League, oh, sorry, we don't qualify for the Champions League, we don't win the league, we don't win the FA Cup, we don't uh, uh, win the Cali Cup, those goals, I repeat it, I'm going to reiterate it, are useless goals. And Jesus will find on that team to where he can actually score those goals and win something. Get your priorities right. Be sensible. Use your brain. I'm not accepting mediocrity for you. Oh, he wants Arsenal not to... No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, regardless of the fact that at the moment, he's not being lit out in front of goal, but he's doing any, every other thing. He's dribbling. He's contributing to the team. Without Jesus, we don't win 50% of our games. His contribution to the team is wholesome. Is irreplaceable at the moment. So, like I said, appreciate it and be happy we are on top of the league. Do not look for narratives to dampen the mood in the camp or in the fan base. Stop it. Stop the nagging. Stop the nagging. I love Jesus. I want him to score more goals. But the fact that he's doing other facets of his game is producing 90 to 95%. On the goal level, yes, it's been poor. I will take that. For me, it's team objective before individual take objective. It's team glory before individual glory. Like, I, let me retreat it and say it again. If the likes of Van Persie, Fabregas, Sanchez left off, not because they were not producing individually, they left off because the team was not producing. If the team was producing, 90% of the time, players don't leave. But if they are produ producing individually and the team objective is not being hit, that is when players leave. So let's think and let's be sensible with our debate or narratives. As not present, if you like this content, make sure you subscribe. Stick like on the video for your reading, please. It's very, very important, especially after the name change. Make sure you stick a like on the content for your reading and make sure you turn the notification bell on. And I'll see you guys on the next one.